First band of the game is going to be Rat Pack taking Twin Blast right out of the game, which is really funny because they're the one picking him. They have been the one picking him. Yeah. So that op- that makes it, yeah, maybe, I don't know. The, see, the they logic behind this, him. that would make sense to me, is that you'd take Yin, which worked in their favor. Um, so by taking Twin Blast out of the picture, they're, they're taking the other good ADC, and that allows them to yeah. first pick the, pro- the best ADC. But we're not seeing Yin first picked at all or ever right now. We, yeah, we haven't seen her. I so, mean, when she's picked up, it's third or fourth third or fourth pick. So the logic behind it doesn't completely make sense. Arctic Wolves' first band of the game will be Decker once again. <clears throat> Decker's always a good band. You can't go wrong I mean, with Decker. You just can't. Like, it's a Decker band. Like, yeah, I know it was coming. You know what I mean? At this point, it's like, who do you ban? Decker? Decker. You just ban Decker. Yeah, pretty much. So first pick for these guys is going to be Bellica for the side of, of Rat Pack. Um We've said it time and time and time again. Most versatile, probably the overall the best hero in the game right now. You have best support as the best decker, but I would say Bellica is the strongest, one of the strongest heroes in the game, if not the strongest and most versatile hero in the game. Arctic Wolves picking uh, their first two. They're going to be taking Narbash and Grux once again. Cosby really liking that Grux. Uh, he's super comfortable on that Grux. It's it's one of those picks where he excels with Grux. When we see him do insane, he's just he. Mm-hmm. It's Grux. It's when he's on Grux. Uh, I think he's got nasty Grux play. Uh, great smash and grabs. Um, allows you picking up blood soaked armor pretty early. Makes Raptors or Prime a little bit easier. So, uh, it's a good pick uh, and a covered pick, I would say, for Cosby on Arctic Wolves. And coming out of Rat Pack, they're going to take Greystone and Yin. So the Yin did a lot did a lot of work last time. Uh, this time, Ram Riddles will be taking Greystone, which I think is going to suit more of his playstyle because Ram Riddles last game, or the past two games, has been more of a non-factor. Like on Faye, he did a pretty good job, but on Morgesh, he didn't really get to do anything. He, he was 0-0-0 zero, zero, and zero for like 20 minutes of the game. Yeah, it wasn't until the, but they've they've kind of they've kind of made him play and just keep crazy full out of the action as well. Mm-hmm. So it's it's not like he wasn't doing anything. He was keeping crazy full tied down, not being able to rotate in and do anything. Eventually, crazy full said, just said, "I'm done with this. I'm going to help my team." And that's when Ram Riddles became a or Team Reborn.net became a factor. He was rotating in. He was you know picking up those kills with Hive and Mark and whatnot. So, so I think Greystone, it, that's the way he's been playing the game. I think Greystone will be more this that play style now because having the Greystone do other things and keeping another hero off the other team um, for the lane pressure is a good thing. But you want the Morgesh in the team fights. You want her to get right. his picks. So this so, this will be more his speed right now for these for the way he's been playing these games. Right. Articles is actually going to come in with their next pickup. They are going to pick up Moragesh, I'm assuming, offlane, because they pick up with a hacker as well. So they don't have their carry yet. I'm going to guess Murdoch because it's Survivor. Mm-hmm. Who does Rat Pack pick up for their last two? Richter and Severog. We so have a be Phasma. front line. No, I think Phasma was going to try and pull out that Richter, but now it's going to be Lucer showing Phasma what he's capable of. I'm still excited to see Richter play. I don't remember the last time I saw Louie on Richter. And, of course, Severog, such a good jungler. They've got good initiation. They've got good damage. They've got great CC. Rat Pack has a really good draft. Last pick coming up for Arctic Wolves is going to be... The Murdoch. Murdoch. I uh, want a like crunch I, I, game. Someone give me one crunch game. You're Just not going to see a crunch give it game. To me. <laughs> great draft coming out from both of these teams. I do like Rat Pack's draft just a little bit more i like their engage i like their sustain and i like the ability uh their their ability to lock down a target with louis on richter so support richter game coming in arctic wolves does have a good team it's going to be interesting to see how both of these teams play this out let's jump in to game number three in one second the overlay is always switching on me one time it's <sighs> left one time it's right the number one's backwards right now i'm not too sure why you know it would be super sweet if we had an play. actual observer client. No, no, no. Where we, we jump in and as a slot seven, six and seven. I, I don't know. I'm a fan of Pith just yelling sweet nothings I into mean, my ear. I am a fan of Pith yelling sweet nothings into my ear as well. 
so that's always good um, can i say uh, chat wants me to say that reflect is the weakest link one more time sure dog i mean he's not playing right now but reflect is definitely the weakest link <laughs> why god obs has the weirdest systems for like it is the most unintuitive thing ever because if i move my mouse wrong the one becomes you know what if the one's backwards for this game guys we just have a backwards one, and that's just like how we're gonna live. That's just the state of state of our being. No, it's good. We're... <laughs> Who wants a backwards one? You ready to do this, I'm, buddy? I'm ready to do this. Let's let's freaking do this. Let's do this. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Guys, game. Oh, frick. Game number three about to start. I'm going to be like three seconds behind you. Uh, game number three about to start here. We're going to be jumping in directly into introduce. Wait, no, we're not. Because I see a five-man squad roaming on the side of Arctic Wolf. People so we're not going to jump. Hungry. Let's watch him. Let's watch him through the jungle. Here they go. Look at him grouped up. They're all grouped up. Oh, are they going to get a gank here? No, because oh Omain's coming in behind them. They see them. They know what's happening. Could be caught Look up. Look at Omain. No main. They're like, ah, oh, shit. Gang <laughs> failed. No, Everybody no. spread out. They're still going in. They're still going in. They don't care. They don't care. There it is. Out. There's a landmine banking bat. Lucero is now caught out. They have their target and they do get it. It's going to be the Moragesh picking up his first kill. And that's going to be a nice, hefty pick at the start of the game. I mean, why not? If you can make it work, do it. They decided we're committed to this. Let's pick up that kill. That's exactly what they do. They've got to back now, though. They've got to buy their starting items. Wards are placed. It's time for them to back up and buy their starting items because minions are spawning, and they want to be there when those minions spawn. So quick kill, quick pickup onto Louie. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Richter. You're dead, buddy. And we are seeing the 2v2 lane once again away from the Raptor side of the map for whatever reason. And I think it's, um, it looks like it's Arctic Wolves this time forcing the 2v2 lane. Yeah, uh, it's, why do it? You're so I mad them about over Raptors. I want them to be, I don't mind the 2v2 lane, like, at all. But why are you not at Raptors? Yeah, that, that's, I can see the frustration on your face. You're like, this makes sense. Oh, there is a nice pull on a survivor. Strength using the whiplash to cleave through anything and everything, picking up the kill onto the Murdoch. Lucerne now sitting at very little health, taking a lot of minion damage as Phasma rotates around. Carryless. Poor guy. He, he hasn't thunk ready, but he wasn't able to do anything with it. No, there's nothing he can do. That was a great hook coming out of Louie to survive to pick up Survivor. Uh, TeamReborn.net is really, really low. He actually has to back off. Crazy Fool doing a really good job mm -hmm. um, being being aggressive in this lane. Of course, when we see Moragesh, a lot of people it's it's you you get Hive first, which is her Q, then you pick up Mark. Are we going to instantly see them pick up Swarm, or do you think they'll max out Q a little bit more before they pick up Swarm? I've seen a couple people where they focus on maxing out your Q and your right mouth, mouse, maxing out your Hive and your Mark, and then picking up Swarm towards the end. Uh, swarm, once swarm's you know, really only there for sustain, it. right? Like, it doesn't do a whole right. lot for you. At this point, I mean, early game it really doesn't, so you maximize your damage by, by maxing out or, or leveling up Mark mm -hmm. um, before you level up. Those, those other abilities. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not Mark Hive before you level up those other abilities. I mean, we're already seeing the damage. Uh, TeamReborn.net, two abilities. He's got that Hive ticking down to close to 50%. Mark is activated again, dropping him down to 25%. Uh, Vanilla QT's here with the purple buff in the right lane, positioning himself. He does get the landmine onto Strafe. Phasma's right there. He gets pulled in too. Oh my. He gets pulled into the tower, and Strafe uses the last kit to reposition himself and pick up the kill. Lucere now in a little bit of trouble as uh, Phasma and Survivor are shooting it and diving the tower. Thunk will miss. Omain right behind them, missing the subjugate. Survivor does pick up the kill, and Omain kills him before the quenching scales can go off. Phasma now running for his life. Omain is going to continue to chase. He has the green buff, so if it does get popped, it will do that extra damage. But he uses the march to cover that distance and create that gap. Meanwhile, Cosby's in Ram Riddle's jungle, taking those five camps and denying that farm from Omain and the offlaner. He's gonna back right now, looking nice and healthy. 
So, uh, I mean, good engagement for Vanilla QD, QT there, picking up those kills. Of course, it's an exchange. Both of your carries died. Survivor needed to live there to make that really 100% worthwhile. And unfortunately, he does get picked up. But they do pick up kills. Survivor's at two kills. Yes, he's died twice, but they pick up two kills. It's keeping, I want to say it's keeping Strafe under farmed, mm -hmm. but Strafe is also at two kills. So it's not really, they're not getting a ton of value out of these kills. Crazy Fool is continuing to be really aggressive onto teamreborn.net over here. I think he got tired of being bullied for two games in a row. <laughs> He, Probably. He's doing the bullying now. Um, over uh, in the duo lane right now, both junglers are running in right behind each other. This could be a bit of a bloodbath. Kazi goes in with a smash and grab. For whatever reason, it doesn't register. I think he got silenced by the Richter just before it actually went off. Strafe now going in with the whiplash. They do manage to land a nice hook onto Cosby. Oh, Main's the one going down. Oh, Main gets caught. Thunk underneath the tower. I mean, that that cleave ability for again burning burning wind. I wish I had my updated uh, mm -hmm. ability sheet here. Just the amount of damage that comes out of that. You it's and especially when you start getting crit online, hitting two or three people um, for five to six hundred damage is is it's so scary. It's so hard to deal with. And the cooldown uh, on it gets play. lower and lower every time. Like that thing could it's, be up almost got a all hundred percent. It's got a hundred percent uptime at max level. Oh my lord! That's if so you're it, and it doesn't cost oh. hardly any mana. Big pull coming in from Richter onto Phasma, followed by the burning winds. The whiplash will be the thing to secure the kill. Survivor in a little bit of trouble right now. The team will back off. Wind after burn. Getting that Thank you, Arctic. Wind burn. Thanks, Arctic. Windburn lash kick. Windburn lash kick. I forget the the alt. Backlash. And I think it's something Gale. Quench, quen, not Gale, quenching Gale. Quenching Gale? <laughs> it's so I've been refreshing. Calling it, I've been calling it quivering Gale. Qu <laughs> people, don't, people don't like. I like. I like. Oh okay, my okay, guys, knees. I'm sorry. There's a, there's a two second. There's a two second cooldown in between the two. Okay. Basically, a hundred percent uptime. Quelling Gale. Quelling is what Gale. It is. I like quivering Gale. <laughs> Just oh. <laughs> I like quivering Gale. I, I, so, I imagined you would. <laughs> it's inappropriate. You're the one who started it. All right, crazy fool being engaged on by Ram Riddles using that uh, gray blade ability to just <laughs> chunk him down. Like he spins. That's, that's the thing. Vanilla QT in the mid lane, getting some farm off. He's looking to back right now. We do have our buys coming in. We have a minute to talk about builds. I know that they're pretty standard every way through, but we can at least look at CP. Madstone Gems, TeamReborn.net, picking up all of the healer tokens to deal with Crazy Fool. Not really doing much for him here. Just the amount of damage coming out of, of Crazy Fool early is, is uh, quite a bit. Um, what is Crazy Fool rocking? He's got a finished Sage's Ward. He's going with that mana. But Madstone Gems, man, this is very standard builds that we're seeing across from these guys here. Cosby with the black and green buff going to tower to secure that T1. He was jumping onto Ram Riddles to do a little bit of damage, but won't be enough. Tower does go down thanks to the minions in the mid lane involved in Vanilla QT duking it out once again. Involved now at no mana. No QT. He's got to be careful here. Yeah, has the advantage. And meanwhile, in the duel lane, yet another fight is going on. As Omain, Lucera, and Strafe engage on to the uh, Phasma and Survivor. It's not the off lane, because it's the duo lane in the off lane. It's the duo lane in the off lane slash safe lane. Eight minutes, 21 seconds into the game. Raptors are going to be spawning in a minute and a half here. We saw this last game where the first Raptor pit wasn't taken until about 14 minutes. And we saw very little posturing around the Orb Prime until about the 22 minute mark. A little bit later, 24 to 27 minute mark there. Um, Strafe and, and, and Louis, you have to be, I mean, if, if I'm Survivor and Phasma, I'm worried about this. I'm worried about the hunk. Oh, and there I'm is, worried there, about being Riplash. There is the thunk coming out of Phasma. Riplash will hit Lucere. Uh, Lucere will hit Riplash onto Phasma. And uh, that will be a kill on Omain. Omain's going down. Omain went down. Omain is dead. 
<laughs> He's real dead, bro. <laughs> He's real dead, bro. Warlord Challenge came out, locked him into place, picked up that kill pretty quickly. Survivor is going to land that hook onto, or Louis going to land that hook on the Survivor. That smash and grab, though, into the kill. Strafe is alone. There's three here. Are they going to continue to aggressive and take this tower? It does not look at like it. But what a good play from Cosby landing that smash and grab and keeping Survivor safe. I want to say, I haven't seen Lucer miss a hook yet. He's he's missed one. One, but like out of, out of like the ten he's thrown. Right, he's missed like one. So he's doing a really good job, even though it ended up getting him kind of killed. Baited. He, he got he, baited. He baited hard. himself. <laughs> they were just waiting. They're like, throw the hook. I dare you to throw the hook. Thank you for throwing the hook, sucker. And give it. Let let the support eat the hook when it's Cosby the one who's going to counteract the engagement. Okay. We're line. 10 minutes into the game. Wards, Raptors are spawned. Wards are down. I mean, for the most part, we've we've got five kills on Survivor. Survivors ended up picking up five kills. Yin, Strafe has picked up three. They're pretty even when it comes to card power. Survivor at 17. Strafe's at 14. He hasn't gone back to sell yet, so there is that advantage. Oh my god, yet another Survivor. Riplash landing on to Vanilla QT. He's going to landmine to try and peel, and that will be the end of the engagement. We have, uh, I think, two people running over to the left right now. So Vanilla QT is only there just to protect the tower from going down so they don't lose yet another one. Oh, that'll be their first tower going down if they do lose that. I think Arctic Wolves is doing a really good job this game. They've showed up to a lot of the fights. Um, score is 6-4 to four in their favor. Very similar to the last game. Omain with the buff trying to zone out the Grux. He manages to clear a black buff. Cosby's two levels ahead of Omain right now. That, yeah, that's a big deal. I mean, Omain's also died twice. He's doing a lot of rotating. Cosby's been able to farm a little. Cosby's at 65 creep score. Omain's only at 33 creep score. Uh, Cosby's, of, of course, been there and picked up three assists, and Omain has none right now. So Cosby's just been more of a presence in these engagements than Omain has. I, I and think that's what's given him that lead. They, they've had equal amount of ganks. They've been to equal amount of team fights. It's just things are working in Cosby's favor. Right. Is, is what it seems more like. Because they end up in the same place at the same time a lot of the time this game. It's just it hasn't worked out in Rat Pack's favor. We have an engagement right now as they're looking to secure uh, something onto the Raptors. Middle QT going with the R2000 Rock up secure it. There is a knockout coming from Involved. Lucer joining the fight as well. Riplash will not land on anything as Cosby charges out with the quenching skills not too long after. The Belka drone finally going down. Crazy Fool in a lot of trouble. He gets hit by the wind burn. Fast using the crash bang boom to disengage from the team. And that is the knockup landmine coming in as well to get them under the tower. R2000 rocket damage. There's Lucera landing yet another riplash, bringing Vanilla QT closer. But the team will not follow up as they are very low. I think that would have been their time to try and counter engage and maybe pick up a kill onto um, Vanilla. Yeah, I just, I feel Riplash is, is, is landing. There's just not a lot of follow up. The last two Riplashes, there hasn't been very much follow up. Um, so it's it's good Riplash is coming out. Lack of follow-up from the team. Raptors are picked up. Survivor sitting at 22 card power. Strafe only sitting at 18 card power. Um, just really good. I mean, Survivor's picking up those last hits when he needs to. Those three Raptors definitely helped quite a bit. He does have that card power lead. We're 13 minutes into the match. Black buffs have spawned. Cosby picks up one. Omain picks up the other. Are they going to look for an engage? Oh, no. They actually uh, gave the black buff to Vanilla Cutie. They let him pick it up because he needed the uh, the mana there. I thought Cosby was going to pick it up for sure. They are farming oh, the enemy jungle. Landmine onto Lucere, and they're going to jump right onto him. He's going to use the skewer to try and help out. Quelling Gale will be dropped by Strafe to apply a little bit of safety net. Great Riplash. Yeah, and that is going to be Vanilla QT going down as the Riplash comes out again. Strafe jumping onto Kazu has no help. He picks up the kill. Wish the Lash. <clears throat> the Lash kick, right? It's a Lash kick, right? Lash kick, yep. Yeah, so many things to remember. That's Too so crazy. Two solid rip lashes coming out from Louie there, helping his team pick up those kills. Lash kick coming in, securing that kill on Cosby. Tier 1 tower is down. Just missed Phasma so low. Holy crap, that thunk just saved Phasma's life in the mid lane. Long <laughs> arm of the law. 
is going to miss. Look at Louie. Look at Louie getting aggressive. I like it. I like this play from Louie. I mean, Vanilla Cutie there, of course, initiated that with a blink into a landmine. Mm -hmm. But Louie's like, nah, come at me, boys, and skewered him. I, this is some of the best Richter play I've seen in a long time. Usually we know Master Splinter and Phasma as the Richter gods. Lucere's showing up. He's competing for the title very well right now. Vanilla Cutie with another aggressive blink into the mid lane into a landmine into the wall. They pick up that kill on Involve pretty quickly. And, uh, wow. I mean, Survivor is 6-2 and two right now. 25 total card power. All Raptors are going to be up in about a minute and a half here. Score 71 is so seconds. even. 7-7 seven, seven, and only a two assist disparity. Both, yeah. both carries at 6-1 and 6-2. And and One assist each. Like... Team's doing a great job. This is just an all-around even game and an even match. And this is what we like seeing when it comes to the PCL. These games are the ones that we wait for. The these, these are the games we wait for. The ones that are even, the ones that are back and forth. There's Right now, both of these teams engaging really effectively. Uh, we, we, it's not super one-sided as of this point. Um, so it's... it's. I'm loving the plan of Louie. Mm -hmm. uh, I really am loving the plan of Louie here. So, Cosby's got a purple oh. buff. Crazy fool. He does Barely actually it. get to use it in the smash and grab, blowing Lucer off the map. Welling Gale is dropped, followed by a quenching scales. The names on these are so similar. We have, what, three lash abilities? Rip lash, wind burn, <laughs> lash kick, and I think another one in there. Backlash. Backlash. <laughs> My god. And that's going to be another kill. Uh, that's going to be Narbash going down this time. Lucera spawning up right now. The Raptors are alive. Power does go down on the map. That will be Team Reborn. TeamReborn.net and the rest of his team on Rat Pack will lose their Tier 1 in the mid lane. Involved. Raptors? Going into Raptor Raptor Corrupt. Uh, they got to be careful though because these guys know it's coming. Vanilla, does he have his ultimate? He's going to R2000. He's going to not. He's going to get one of them. Rotation is there. I think he's just going to pick up one right now. Landmine to knock back in, and they are just going to back off. So he does stop them from picking that up. Uh, Vanilla Cutie will get one of those Raptors. Two are still alive. Good call for them to just back off. They know they're low on health and mana. So 16 minutes into the game, we're starting to see uh, a little bit of a lead. Not a huge lead coming out, but Survivor 28 to 25. We're still Madstone Gems, punching scales uh, online for Louie. He's also picked up that stab link so he can be aggressive here. But watching this, watching these fights, go up. there's the seismic assault on crazy. But watching these engagements, I mean, they're pretty back and forth. Um, they're 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 not. There's no decisive team fight right now. What do these teams have to do to give themselves that advantage? Where where are they? It's it's coming down. Where to the are they Raptors, stumbling? Which caused me is uh, using the blood soaked armor to help secure uh so he picks up one of them and crazy pool picks up the other um once again this is gonna be one of those games that comes down to prime it's gonna be one big team fight that's gonna like help secure the win because the teams are so even right now they're like one team wins one engagement and the the engagements they're winning are only like a trade two for one there's no guaranteed like winner and then the next engagement the other team wins Right. So, only so much you can do about this. I think they need to farm up a little bit. Maybe get a good pick. And uh, go for Prime. Prime will be the one thing that really gives one team the major advantage. Right. When, it, when is Prime not the advantage? Though? With the changes to Prime, Prime seems to be, seems to be the advantage for any team right mm -hmm. now. So, we're, we're 18, 18 minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Both of these teams are... We've got is that two or three mid? We've got two mid right now. Survivor and Phasma has rotated to the mid. Vanilla Cutie's kind of around that area as well. A little skirmish happening between Crazy Fool and Team Reborn.net. And Crazy Fool will pop the ultimate of the Greystone. This gives him a bit of advantage and falls there as well. Gets hit by the seismic assault and the void bomb. Kazi going in with the Warlord's challenge, challenging Rat Pack. He's gonna try and burn through the enemy team as Vanilla QT uses the make it rain. 
secure the kill onto Involve. Cosby's getting knocked around by the map as uh, Colossal Blow will land on him. He dies as well. And now it's TeamReborn.net trying to run away from the very irate Howitzer. And that's going to be overall engagement. Like we said, the engages are only 2v1, 1v2 sort of situation. And meanwhile, on the, on the uh, off lane, we just lost to Tier 2. They lost the tier two tower because both Louis and Strafe are pushing into that very hard. We saw good rotation out of the mid lane from involved there, making sure they're able to pick up the kill onto Crazy Fool. I mean, Team, team Reborn.net didn't even die on Greystone. He popped the ultimate. They end up picking involved, but it's a it's a one for two exchange uh, favoring that pack. Tier two tower falls. That's going to open up the map to them. Where either Raptors or Orb Prime. And it looks like they're making, I was going to say, they're making a play right now. They are just warding and backing off. No, they're, are they going to go for this? I don't think they're going to go for it. It would be a bad time for them to do it. They're, they're, gonna they're just going to ward yeah, They're going to back. They're going to buy. Strafe has five card points to spend right now. That's another Madstone gem for him. And he picks a whole one up. He gets his Blink Charm, actually, um, is what he's going to be grabbing for the Blink Shot. Which you can build power into now. They change it so you can move power into it. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's not a bad pickup. So with Prime Helix being a, we, I know we call it Orb Prime. The actual name of the minion is the Prime Helix. We really need to start, start using that name because it's such a it, badass name. So with the, the Prime Helix, tier two, that tier two tower falling on the Prime Helix side of the map, they've opened up Raptors for themselves. Because you set that lane, you allow that lane to push, and you've opened up the pro the uh, the Raptors for your carry to allow Strafe to continue to get farm. Mm -hmm. um... And so this is a really good situation for Rat Pack right now. They have the map control. They're starting to gain a, a little bit of a lead for some of their heroes. Strafe is a little bit behind Survivor, but not by much. As we see right now, I'm just kind of watching Prime because like people are hovering around it, but not really committing to anything right now. We might see Omain jump onto Cosby here as he does have the purple buff. Cosby is kind of unsuspecting the situation, gets Colossal Blood right into the gate, subjugate Lucera surrounding him. There's the Riplash and the Skewer. Cosby getting ripped, chewed apart. Arctic Wolves is answering that by going right on to the Raptors. Involved is nearby. I think what they should do is give up Raptors and go for Prime if they have the chance. It'd be a bit of a risky play, but, you know, it's something to do. Um, overall, I think that's that's a definite win for Arctic Wolves. They lost one of their teammates, but picked up a whole three Raptors for their team for free. Well, almost free. Yeah, almost free. I mean, for the most part, three. You lose Cosby, but Survivor picks up three Raptors. Um... Puts him ahead again of Yin. Crazy Fool is going to be left alone to oh. defend this. He has to be careful. Lucer going in for the blink. Phasma trying to use the crash bang boom to slow down and peel this to the team, but it won't be enough. TeamReborn.net doing a great job of tanking that tower as the long arm of the log comes out. Hits Omain does not do enough damage to actually secure the kill. There was another quenching scales going out on there to heal the team up to prevent them from uh, actually taking too much damage while under that tower. And they're actually back on once again. Love that counter aggression. Love the counter aggression. They knew they lost Raptors. They knew they needed to make something out of it. They go pick up two kills. They pick up Phasma. They pick up Crazy Fool. Uh, and they back off and go to spend card power. That was a great play coming out of Rat Pack. Yeah. Uh, I think this should be prime as uh, Crazy Fool is still down for another 20 some seconds. They are starting to rotate over. It is warded by Arctic Wolves. There is a purple buff coming up as well. So this means they'll be able to see that ward in there as they jump onto Survivor. There's a blink coming out of Lucere and Involve trying to jump onto the carry of Arctic Wolves, but he does manage to get away. Cosby's in there as well. He was farming. They found him once again. Subjugate Warlord's challenge will go out to try and peel, and my game just froze up right away. And now it's back this to normal. Is this is not, uh, Skewer goes out, it does not hit anybody. Omain is in a lot of trouble here in the jungle. That rip lag, I mean, just pulls him back in and they blow Phasma up. Yeah, Strafe's gonna get the kill onto Phasma. Vanilla QT jump, being jumped on by the Greystone. He's out of the fight as the rest of Rat Pack is gonna try and jump on to Crazy Fool and Survivor. 
They do have an advantage. I think they should run back to Prime while they have the chance. 30 seconds down on their support, and Grux has just backed. They're spending an awful lot of time just hovering around, waiting for another pick that they don't necessarily need to grab. Maybe surging a T2? I think this is, that's a wasted opportunity right there, if you ask me. I feel like they could have backed up and taken uh, Prime. It's it's continuing to apply pressure, though, so it's they pick up the kill on Phasma. Luis done such a great job with these hooks. We're 24 minutes into the game. We're starting to see a little bit of posturing around this. Arctic Wolves knows uh, Rat Pack is backing off. They can mm -hmm. they can see that. They, so do they make the play and go for our Prime? Cosby's already positioning himself, too. Here comes Strafe. He may get caught out and picked up here. Uh, I think I'm a few seconds behind you right now as my game's locking. I'm at 2:30. I'm at 24:35. You are behind me. You go ahead and okay. uh, cast this. So Strafe I'll gets up. yeah. Strafe gets hit by the smashing grab. Crazy fool comes in and picks up a kill as well, followed by involved getting a double kill. Strafe trying to get away right now, but the crash bang boom might do the job. Walking away. No. Oh. The Hive is the one to do, finish the job off. Involved jumping onto Phasma right now. Zinokiti joins in. R2000 Rocket goes out. Miss Seismic Assault. Make it rain goes down and will kill Involved, but he does get his mark. How are we going down? The last two people alive in that engagement are Omain and Howitzer. With Team Reborn.net pushing down that left lane tier two this entire time. How he has to go and fix that one. Meanwhile, Omain pushing up the mid lane. So what are you at time-wise? I'm at 25.30 right now. Tell me when you get to 25.35. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. So Team Reborn.net the entire time pushing down that tier two tower. Vanilla Cutie rotating in and helping helping Phasma out a little bit by getting that kill on Involve. The Hive dealt enough damage on Strafe to pick up that kill on Strafe. That, that was an engagement I thought for sure Arctic Wolves was going to win. They had that jump onto Strafe. I was like, they got this. And Arctic Wolves ends up losing a 4v5. Not they were a little slow on their engagement. They're long on the law going out. It will get Omain. People are starting to fight over Prime now, but no one is becoming the decided winner by the looks of it. So they're just going back to Prime over and over and over again. It's because they know that how important Prime is. It does look like Arctic Wolves are going to be able to take this uncontested. Cosby has started it. We're starting to see Yin rotate in. Vanilla Cutie's got a little bit of zoning on Involve here. They are rotating over. And if you're Rat Pack, you got to make a play here. They're taking too long. They can't decide what they're going to do. Lucer going in for the skewer. It will miss the target. Cosby Moon to pick up the Orb Prime. And now they have the buff. This is their game to lose as they have advantage. Omain still down. They're all healthy, so they, were, they have everything. They just need to wait for the regen to bring their mana back up, and they'll be good to go. Yeah, they were. The, the reason the regen didn't kick in right away is because they were being attacked by uh, Rat Pack, so the regen didn't automatically kick in. The big thing is Death Touch is activated. All lanes are now pushing in their favor. They're picking up river buffs, and they're waiting for that regen to get them back to full. It takes five, five, it's five seconds after you stop being attacked for that region to kick in. It's now kicked in. They're going to group up and make a push at mid. This could be GG. Arctic Wolves could take this right here. Right now, Vanilla QT actually picked up the red buff. So he's primed up with a red buff. There's the Thunk throwing up from Phasma. Survivor blinking away while he gets jumped on by Ram Middles. The ult will slow down the team. They're trying to fault the engage. Lucera stab blinking past everyone else. He will use the silence onto Survivor, but his teammate does go down. Crazy Fool secures the kill. Strafe trying to blink out the curse, does the job, and secures the kill, followed by a smashing grab on Omain and involved. Great double grab, and that is a full wipe. The last one to just barely get out was TeamReborn.net. However, one Greystone versus four primed up members of Arctic Wolves. They're going to take down the tier two. They're going to look to take down the inhibitor. Maybe even pick a kill on that Greystone. This, I, I feel like this is going to be GG. Team Reborn.net is not going to be able to defend this. He's getting aggressive onto Survivor. There's just too much damage there. Cosby taking up this tower. He is going to back 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 out. The regen is there. Team Reborn.net being pushed away by Vanilla Cutie. Inhibitor is going to fall. Three up, pushing the mid lane with Orb Prime. This looks like it's going to be GG for Arctic Wolves. Taking Great pick up on the Orb Prime. And they're going to take the series and move on to the finals against Reborn. Well done, Arctic Wolves. 
well done. They, they deserve it. They did a great job. They held on the first game. They held on just enough. They managed to turn around that big team fight, taking advantage of that one mistake. The second game, they turned up the pressure, and they had most of the game under their belts up until that last team fight, and this game was their best game, was their best showing. This game, it was an even fight the entire way through. Yeah. Uh, good gameplay coming out of both of these teams. Arctic Wolves is just going to inch out in the end take that and move on to the finals coming up in just a few minutes guys arctic wolves versus reborn thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting these teams let's take a, i'm going to take a look at this match arena i haven't looked at it yet what are we uh, when i last looked we were at 750 i can't get it to pop up well that's probably one of the highest we've had in a while uh it's been it's been a bit since we've got this high we're currently sitting at 755 dollars uh, this goes to first and second place, uh, Reborn versus Articles. So let's talk about Reborn. Let's talk about what we saw from Reborn. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, they won a game in 17 minutes and 30 seconds. They won their second game in 24 minutes and 50 seconds. And then today, they won both of their games pretty decisively against Toronto Esports. I, I think it's going to be different, though, because Toronto Esports had bad drafts. They right. were kind of asleep through a lot of their games. Like, they weren't able to do a whole lot. Arctic Wolves started out probably around 80%, but as the series has developed, they really tr cranked up and hit 11, uh, matching Rat Pack in all their aggression, equaling those team fights, equaling those uh, wins. And right. so, there, if, if anyone's going to put a challenge to Reborn in the next series, it's going to be these guys. Uh, if 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 Articles plays the way they played in game number one, I think Reborn is going to stop Articles. I'll be completely honest. Mm -hmm. Watching Reborn's gameplay yesterday and today, if if Articles makes the mistake or is they're not aggressive, as we saw in this game and in game number two, I don't think they're going to be able to beat Team Reborn. But guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get the production stuff set up, and we're going to jump back in. We're going to jump into the finals, Reborn versus Arctic Wolves. We'll be right back. 